On the day after tragedy struck this small town, the community very much still reeling, while some are saying perhaps this is a tragedy that could have been prevented. I had the whole life ahead of them. The community coming to grips with the loss, devastating to this tiny town of just over 3,000. I can't even imagine, like, what those parents would, are going through right now. Six Tishomingo High School girls killed Tuesday when their car collided with a semi at this intersection. I've seen three people killed out there. It's an intersection that needs to have been fixed for, for several years. Longtime resident Brad Sneed and others saying they've been sounding the alarm about this very spot. Over the course of the last 50 years that I've been here in Tishomingo, it's always been a, a situation where it's tough to see left and right. You know, there's basically no shoulder or anything to get off on that, in that intersection to get around somebody. And wondering, how many more will lose their lives before something changes? They talked about putting the bypass at one time. I'd love to see it. It goes back to the Department of Transportation. A statement from ODOT saying in part, the agency extends its condolences to the families and the entire Tishomingo community affected by the devastating loss. Any loss of life due to a crash is a tragedy, and ODOT is committed to constantly evaluating and improving the highway system for safety. And today at the high school, in memory of those young women, flags flying at half staff, along with six hearts on the marquee and six rose covered wreaths with angels' wings outside the main entrance, a reminder of lives gone too soon. Something like this, it finally got enough attention that maybe they can fix the thing. In Tishomingo, Ashley Moss, Oklahoma's News 4. Country music star and Tishomingo native Blake Shelton just releasing a statement about the tragedy in the past 30 minutes. He says, quote, in the wake of yesterday's unthinkable crash in our small town of Tishomingo, we as a community have all been in shock and brokenhearted. I personally know the devastation of suddenly losing a loved one in a car accident, but our community is strong and has come together to support and wrap our arms around the families and friends that are hurting the most. There's no question it will take a long time to heal from this tragedy. Keep the prayers coming.